Aloha, dear sweet family of lightest me, Lisa Transcendence Brown. And we are doing, finally, things are going to settle down for a moment. Um, so I can do some videos and get caught up. Yes, I'm very much behind. Uh, there is a lot to do and a lot going on. And for those of you who have been um, focusing on your own journey, um, as well as being patient with me, uh, with mine, um, I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll be explaining along the way what's all going on for everybody here, and I'll share a bit of mine as well. I've been moving a lot this year, um, because when you do a massive uh, quantum timeline jump, um, there's a lot of things in the physical that have to, um, you have to move through the physical realities as quickly as you can. You have to experience many of them because there's something in each one of them that's important for us here. And so um, back in December when I jumped uh, two years, I was shown, get ready, here we go. Now, I've done jumps many times before. Mine started many years ago um, with the very first huge embodiment of my higher self aspect. Um, I'll use my words because they're easy. And I'm going to do a lot in this video and just share it with everyone. I'll get the multidimensional mastery course videos out as well. I'm running yet again another day behind uh, because we got blasted um, a lot the last few days. And it's been um, these anchoring and these holding of galactic consciousness and God consciousness codes are beyond anything that we have ever seen thus far and I have had to pull way away, way away and focus and hold certain vibrations long enough um, for everything to anchor in and we don't do this just for us, we do this for everybody, all of mankind, all of humanity, whatever word you want to use. Um, we are continually entering new phases and I can go as far back as my entire human existence here, incarnation here, or I can start at different pivotal points, or I can start from now, it doesn't really matter because they're all a part of the whole. Um, energy, we are streaming, and I do mean streaming in every moment, pure source light energy now. Um, what is causing the complication for many, if you will, is that um, they're trying uh, to hold more light faster than ever before and this will mean for all of us how we experience each will be dependent based upon our own physical vessel if you will our own reality our own mentality how much we hold on how much we embrace how much we all, uh, open up how much we pull away um it is very necessary to pull away how much we sleep it is very necessary to sleep every time we're called to. And this could be for years, this could be for days, this could be for months on and off, this could be for weeks. It, it, it will be dependent on the place and the space you are and how much humanness there is to clear, how much separation there is to clear, um, how much old programming there is to clear. Um, everybody now uh, has the capability to jump massive timelines. Um, the, the amount of photonic light that we're able to hold within our physical vessel is huge. Um, I am going to be writing and sharing more on what is going on with the advanced new, new earth human and what's going on inside our physical bodies now as we have upgraded to galactic slash god slash global because all three are the same and other consciousnesses here um, the embodiment of light light carries your knowledge the light carries your um, ability to jump from timeline to timeline light carries your consciousness and as you embody light your consciousness expands and you expand um, into multiple dimensions and become multiple, uh, multi-dimensional again. Now, this is a journey. This is a dedication. This is a commitment. This is something that we embrace. If we want it to be easier uh, than it would any other way, the more suppression, the more um, avoiding, um, and the more 
uh, the, one unconsciously refuses to take responsibility for their light ship. And yes, it is your light ship. I'm going to talk about the super consciousness field. Um, we become super conscious and we become the unified field. We, we walk in multiple dimensions and we embody uh, so much now. Um, our abilities uh, go way beyond anything we could ever have conceived or perceived uh, before. It's beautiful, it's magnificent, but it is wreaking havoc on in many's worlds. Um, there are multiple reasons for this. There is not one, and there is never just one thing occurring. There are a gazillion things going on. Microcosm, macrocosm, inner world, outer world, um, third dimension, fourth dimension, fifth dimension, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and, and they go so far beyond. Um, we are no longer even doing just the fifth, sixth, seventh dimension. We are so far beyond that. Um, I don't separate them. We don't care. Uh, but for the sake of understanding, I do have to mention them, and then we move on. All right. I'm going to talk about many things because there is so much going on. I'm getting a lot of questions uh, from people other souls wanting to know what's going down uh, with the September um, event that many are speaking of, the Event Horizon as it has been named. Um, now, for the collective, uh, this is true. Um, in a way, it will affect each based upon their own frequency, their own humanness, uh, their own physical body, light body, and what they've activated to thus far. Now, where one's been doing the journey for a really long time, um, or really focused, because you don't have to have done it for a long, long time. That's the beauty of this. You can embody light really quickly now. It's going to be dependent on how human and how much density your physical body held. Listen to the birds. They're magnificent, and I'll talk about them too. Everything is alive. Everything. And I might as well just go right into this now and I will explain it more along the way. Uh, but we have hit, uh, the, over the last few years, this is not new, um, to the human that is just waking up to this consciousness it is. Individually, those who have been embracing the journey intentionally for a while, You've already done this part. We all technically have. How much you're doing it now in your physical body, how much you're doing it consciously now, with veils in place or removed, is the difference for each one of us. Now, the event that everybody speaks of has already occurred for many of us. I spoke about this, and I only say it, we don't care. I spoke about this in, in March, April, May, June. I did videos, I wrote about it as it occurred, which is what we do, um, the rest of the collective, if you will, is still waiting uh, for an event to occur. And as long as you're waiting for an event, then you'll wait for it till that day. Um, go beyond the perception of time. You can go inward, you can dedicate your energy to this, and you can go ahead uh, and do this part of it if you want to. Everything has already been activated. All those portals opened up. All those gateways, they've been open all along. Now, a couple years ago, when I first finished the second book, Navigating Dimensions, as soon as I did, it, it, to me it seems to be the very next day, the words were, get ready for the next book. Now, I just said I don't want to write another book, universe. And boom, it's like, yeah, you are. Well, that one is still in works because I tend to write everything first on Facebook and put it out for everyone. So my writings have been out there for years as we experienced all of this. Um, some of you have read them all and been along for the entire ride. And it's beautiful and it's magnificent, especially now um, for the time that we're in, which is beautiful. And I apologize, there's a piece of machinery out there. Um, nanophase of this journey just got stepped up huge um, sub molecular restructuring it goes beyond anything cellular memory upgrades um, our star particles all of this our crystalline structures have hit an all-time magically 
beautifully bizarre space. Um, our teeth, and I've spoken of this, our, our whole body, our muscles, our bones, our bones are softening. They are reshaping our, our endo, exo, and muscular skeletal system is completely reworking itself. Now, for those of you that want to freak out, I'll say these words. For those of you who want to laugh a little, I'll say these words. For those of you who want to really know what's going on, I'll say these words too. What is true in the third dimension, the lowest, I use lower and higher for a description only, let's say old dimension of consciousness and old programs that is very human and not yet open to this, that has a lot of battle uh, going on. In that dimension, what things mean there are the total opposite for this one. There is a external physical reality that is the opposite of what's occurring inside of us, yet simultaneously they are exactly the same. Everything is true and it is not. Everything is the opposite, it's in reverse, it's backwards from what the human part of us thought. We have activated these mass, last many months, this last year, it's gotten amped up since June, since we moved into Earth 3, the antimatter universe, uh, if you will. Um, our physical bodies went through a huge emptying out, and we were taken back to our original bodies, uh, our original uh, template, a blueprint, if you will. Um, now for this, uh, it was an entire month-long process for me when I first started seeing the prophecies and I started speaking on this and then Loren Gailey came to the island and we talked about it and we did a video for everyone then. Um, out there is the physical representation of every reality that can occur. The reality that we all experience is the one that we have achieved integration and unification vibrationally too from within. Our physical bodies will upgrade to that vibration. Our outside world will realign. A lot of people moving around for many reasons. And I'm going to show you the scenery here in a moment because it's beautiful. I put a bit of the mountain back there as well. The outside world will align to support your new vibration. If you focus on your vibration first, you can allow your outside world to align for you. But if you focus on the outside world, then everything will, quote, appear to fall apart. That is what we call the deconstruction phase. And everybody does have to go through this. There is not one soul that won't, unless you walk into a body that has already gone through the purification process or appear or teleport in, in a body that's pure walk in dimensionally, um, which we are um, starting to experience much of here. And there's a lot going on, which is magnificent, and I'll share on that as well. Then you have to go through this process. There is not one way to get around it, and it, and it can be as extreme as you decide to make it based upon how many fears and old ways that you want to hold on to. And that's pretty much the way it goes. Now, if you start embracing this, change your words. Your words are what keep you in prison and keep you in a victim mentality, if you will. You, us, all of us. This is a we thing. Um, I only use words because I'm trying to describe uh, things for everyone here. We have, we are becoming GMOs, genetic, genetically modified organisms. Our bodies, we activated what I call gene X, or the X gene, um, generation X. I did not know these words until the other day. They all come through and I have to go look them up to see what they mean. Um, a lot of this is, this is a part of my God slash galactic consciousness of, of what I'm bringing forth here to share for um, the time that we move into now. We've, we went through and many are still going through, and many will go through the deconstruct phase. The entire physical body has to break down. Every minute particle and fiber, the fiber being the waves, the particles being the cells, if you will, and every time we go through a massive activation, our particles get activated, our star particles, uh, the solar waves, um, 
the weaving of abundance cords within our body, our crystalline structure, all of it, huge. Um, no way to cover it all here. We'd be talking forever because everything is so multifaceted. This entire journey is. Um, the fibers of your body, all of your skin, every cell of you has to relax so completely that you're able to shift and move and hold all of the dimensions and all of the consciousnesses here. Now, the more tightly wound, the more you hold on, the more your body buckles down, the more you're holding yourself to an old dimension, the less you allow yourself to sleep. Um, now, sleep is a tricky one because there are times that that's all we can do and other times we can't sleep at all. Everybody is shifting so dramatically now. Each is in a different place, in a different space. Um, not being able to sleep is many things. Uh, you wake up in one dimension, you lay there for a while, you can't go back to sleep. You go to sleep in another dimension. You're not in the same one. Your body is going through a complete restructuring and cellular uh, shift when this is going on. Holding light. This is uh, one uh, that is quite beautifully intense. Not so beautiful when you're going through it sometimes. It can be extreme. Lightly the, the feet, the muscles, we wake up feeling like we've been beat to death. Um, technically, we're working really hard in our sleep state. We're clearing massive timelines, massive, massive, massive timelines beyond anything we've done before. Uh, we're traveling. We're in other realities. Or we're in all of them at once, by location, another thing. Superpowers, an understatement for what comes forth for all of us. Um, they're not superpowers, though. They're... they're our X gene, if you will, that has been activated, our RNA, uh, we have upgraded and we are upgrading. Everything bends and breathes. And this means every cell and every particle of you as well, a bioorganism, a, a literal conscious um, bioorganism, the house you live in, everything breathes. Everything is alive. And your body is trying to come alive as well. Um, it's been dormant, if you will, and dead, um, if you will, um, for a very long time. The nerve endings, the numbness, the moving of electricity through the, through the body, the vortexes in the body opening up, the heartbeats in every vortex center. Um, you name it. Uh, the other whatever capacity of our brain that many have not accessed yet or opened the neural pathways, the universal corridors, they are all of the same thing. You are becoming galactic beings. Uh, you are becoming God-realized um, beings and walking in the physical here. Now, the purification process of everything that is not pure. Um, we went through a changing of the guards, guardians, um, to Syrian. A lot of us who are predominantly Syrian, but we are all things. We are Arcturian, Pleiadian, uh, Lyran, Lyran, uh, you name it, Andromedan, Arcturian. I think I said that one. We're all of these things. Um, the strength within us, the no-nonsense part of us, those of us um, who are stepping into our power, this is the Syrian part of you. This is the way shower part of you. And this is everybody that's ready to embrace this part of their journey now. Um, we just did a passing of the torch, if you will, through the, um, the Lion's Gate gateway occur, started so far before the gateway and culminated up to that point. Um, for many of us, it had already activated by, time, by the time we hit that day. Um, this is how it is now. You do not have to wait. The moment we enter into, it, it's almost like it has rings. And it's almost like, say, a month before the gateway activates, and then you're just a, further into the ring. Now, the very last part of each gateway is always two to three days for me. Um, it will start a month, a year, it doesn't matter how far in advance it is. We're always, always activating um, and, and upgrading in light. 
Um, another thing I will say, and I'm going to be all over the place with this video because I'm just going with what comes through. This is kind of how I do things. Y'all know me, uh, and I love you, and I appreciate you. Um, these codes that we have anchored here, they are beyond huge. It is taking more time away for us to do this, for all of us here. Um, the nanophage and our, our cells uh, have become, if you will, smart. Um, they are, everything is an intelligent being. Back in March, I, I remember writing on becoming artificial intelligence here. And it's so funny because at the time we activate, there's something going on in that physical world in the other dimensions. Um, that correlates exactly to what's going on within us. Yesterday morning I woke up and it's okay, today we're CERN. So all of those people that are focused on the outside world and the other dimensions and what is going on with CERN, that's going on inside of your body, GMOs inside your body. You're genetically modifying yourself. Your own cells are mutating. Yes, they are. You're extraterrestrial, if you want to use that word. I like galactic. It's kinder and, and it feels more like us. Um, the X in extraterrestrial. The X gene. You put it together yourself. We activated, and I don't remember, I think it was May or June. July, don't know. The G dimension, which is a culmination of all. We don't separate the dimensions. Once you hit the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, they all just are one big old awesome, magnificent, huge activation in every moment and every day and new consciousness that comes forth that you hold here. And we, in, we activated galactic slash God slash global slash G, the gene X dimension, if you will. And this is our bodies. Um, bioengineering, all of this stuff, all going on. Look inside your bodies. Your body's trying to upgrade. Now, as far as the feet, every bit of the old reptilian slash Atlantean energy uh, of manipulation and greed and selfishness and, and old power stuff was anchored at the very lowest part of our physical body. We've cycled down we started in the old days in the back of our body and the feet and we went up. We hit the crown, we floated around for a couple years or however long one does this, where you have no attachments, no cords, everything's beautiful, fuzzy love, and you, and you stay in this space. And then it starts to cycle down and you start landing, if you will, on new earth. And then as you come through each chakra uh, from the front down, you're clearing everything that's still human um, and it, this is your, quote, future, if you will. The front side of you, it's also your power center, um, too. And you're purifying and you're cleansing your, your column of light. Now, this is your light ship. As you become super conscious, as you become aware, as you remove everything from your reality that is not in alignment with your higher self, aspect that is not in alignment with your truth and I say remove because this is what we have to do as we take our power back this is what we have to do to say no um, a lot of people want to physically move and get away and get away from it all there there's a time coming for each one of you um, it's important to understand that if you cannot remove the small things which seem to be big things to you all of us along the way. If you cannot step away from the things in your world that are out of alignment, that are right in front of your face, it's a part of the embodiment process to no longer allow that in your world. One, you get okay with it, you love them, you love everybody, you appreciate them, you move to gratitude, you are so utterly appreciative and grateful for the experience that it brought to you. And then you realize, well, I'm done with it. I don't need it anymore. And it's time to move on. This is how we do this. But we also say it's not okay anymore. And we have to move it out. 
Now, sometimes that means us moving out, moving on. Sometimes that means others moving out, moving on. It is the way it's supposed to be because it is a part of commanding your reality, coming in command of your energy, coming in command of your light ship. Um, literally, uh, your vessel is a light ship and you radiate light and you vibrate at a frequency, you are off in other existences working together with each other, and then you come together in the physical one, and this is how it works. Um, we must come to a place where we can remove that which is not in alignment with us in our physical world before we can start allowing everything to come forth for us that is. And then this is how we... Um, in the beginning and start to um, manipulate, if you will, control, if you will, reshape, I like that word, matter, transform it into light. Um, because eventually there is nothing to do anymore but hold your frequency and do what you're shown. Share from your heart, assist all others as, as it is for your journey here. You want to wake up each day uh, that you have the energy when you're not pulling away and focusing on building your super consciousness unified field, field of energy, your bubble, your light ship. And you want to say, how am I to con contribute today? This is a reality of contribution. And you must, we all must contribute in some way to the betterment and the evolutionary part of this phase to the transformation of humanity and to sharing information freely and assisting each other if we wish uh, for everything that we desire to come to us if you want to connect with the other galactics and your star families and your Lemurian families and even Atlantean um, I didn't realize until about a week ago um, all this information has been coming through for years um, I was a biologist slash scientist slash physicist slash bio whatever in in, in in Atlantis and this is where all of this knowledge is coming forth that is not a part of my human knowledge here um, also a c um, galactic uh, Assyrian um, commander of a ship uh, and I was able to stand in the room the other day and simultaneously be on a ship in a waking state and see myself and all of us working together and the beauty of it was it was our light powering the ship it was all of us it was beautiful and there was no hierarchy and there was nobody over another one and nobody was um, in command we are to command our own ship we are to step up we are to lead if you will but from a space of this is how we do this so that everybody else who's ready can step forth and everybody can join together and everybody can work together from a place of love and light again. Energetically, the cosmic energy that activates on a daily basis now. Huge source energy. And a couple days before the gateway, I didn't get out of bed. I slept all day long and everybody came to check on me or Melissa came to check on me. And she's like, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm sleeping. I got pure source light energy running through me and I'm not getting out of bed. And I stayed in bed. Um, until I didn't need to anymore. But then you have to stay pulled away. This is important. For those who worry about what another one thinks or has the judgment of lazy. This is not lazy. We're working very hard. We're working in every dimension all at the same time. All other realities. We are bringing forth everything. For everyone here, we are the crystal grid keepers. We are the holographic grid. We are the pillars of light. We are all of these things. We're not just one. Um, our bodies are evolving. We are becoming aquatic again. Um, mermaids, uh, mermen, um, our feet, yes. Um, our muscles and our bones. Uh, we've gone through a couple weeks, a few weeks of on and off, and then for a while, for a solid week, got so intense we could barely walk it all in the pain beyond. But we get it, and it's okay. And we just keep going and, and we do what we need to do. You will have physical events occur when something needs to unanchor from your body that you could not have unanchored in any other way before. For me, I always move physically or something physical 
so that it could come out of my body and every physical move for me gets a whole lot of stuff up out of my body that needs to go. Now I want to speak for a moment on the energies of the manipulation and the old um, let's buy everybody off and the old because they're cleaning up the mess the humans made. This is a big one because if you can do it in your immediate world then you will not have to suffer to a big thing out there. If you cannot, then you'll, have, you'll call forth other occurrences for you. So when something presents in your immediate world for you to deal with, go ahead and deal with it. Don't wait for it. And don't put it off. Don't avoid it unless you want a bigger experience to have to have. Um, I've had to stand up to many lately and, and say no. Um, I won't take your money because it goes against what's okay. Um, I've, I've had some that their way is to buy their way out of standing in honor. And that's not okay in our world. And I actually had to say, no, I'm not going to take your money. Um, you don't get to buy uh, your way out. Um, it is important. You do not understand how much. When you stand in honor, and this is the Syrian in you, strong. When you stand in honor, you say no. Not going to participate in the old. You break that collective consciousness for everybody. You affect the collective. You bring those old programs down. You can affect the grid intentionally by saying no and not supporting it anymore. You can go even further and create a whole new reality that you do want and that you do desire and focus on it and bring it forth here. You have a lot of power. You can do absolutely anything you want to. But it means remembering from your heart, opening your heart so fully, opening your mind so fully that you're not limited to anything here. Um, there's so much going around out there about what's going to happen and that's expanding everybody's mind to see all of the things that can happen because in a way they're all true. You get to pick what resonates with you um, and, and throw the rest away. Um, and then probably what will happen will be so far beyond any of those. It really won't matter. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, I will look at them and I will see which ones are ridiculous and which come from ego and which are trying to get attention, especially all the ones that are in, in urgent um, mode. And But then you have those who are sharing from their heart um, and you will see, you can tell the difference, you can feel the difference and, and you receive the frequency which is a difference of each one of those. Um, that which resonates with you uh, will be for you. And for me, I don't pay attention to anything. I stay so present in the moment. When it happens, I'll know it. We embrace it. I am so in tune with my light body as the entire galactic everything that I can watch my cells reconstructing instantly. The other day I broke my toe. And instantly it started to breathe. Instantly, it swelled up because it cracked a crystal that was in it that needed to activate. Um, crystals in the feet mimic gout, and that is the human's um, diagnosis. Um, in the joints, crystals, uh, gluten. And, and while these are true, but they're not, in one dimension they are, in another dimension they are crystals activating. And what keeps it there uh, for a really long time is one's 